What's up, my fungal familia? It's your boy Flack, aka the Flack Attack, coming at you again with another Legend of Mushroom video. Today, we're gonna be talking about some controversial stuff here in Legend of Mushrooms. Indentured servitude. We'll call it indentured servitude because, I mean, frankly, it's a it's it's a lot nicer. The dormitory in legend of mushroom legend of mushroom has came out with a new way to passively create income by not necessarily enslaving but capturing people to work them for your benefit we'll, we'll call we'll just keep it that way there are some things to note when you first go to the dormitory it will show you your employer in the top left this is who owns you in case you want to know you want to message him be like hey can i get a day off like what up like it's sunday bro like i've been here seven days there are some other things you can do to interact with your indentured servants you can flick them on the forehead throw tomatoes at them and if you feel so inclined you can tickle them this does absolutely nothing for you other than give you a little bit of laughter I guess kind of weird kind of weird little input there in the game but you know uh, down here you'll have your match history this will show you uh, when and where you were fought and fought for this obviously I passed my week with my last owner so this person fought me and I am now their um, retainer we'll call them retainers okay i'm his retainer down here you're going to click your loot this is going to show you all of your loot that you get for online and offline loot it's kind of like the exact same thing as the treasure chest on the main screen with a slight difference so as you can see here i'm getting 567 per minute and also a bunch of other goodies my offline loot i'm getting 944 per minute so it's almost beneficial for me to be offline when i'm not playing and um, you will get the same amount of loot down here below. You can click the information tabs and it will tell you. Um, one, each player can have one retainer. Players receive additional online offline rewards ranging from 5 to 15% based on the levels cleared by their retainer. So the higher levels your retainer has cleared, the more rewards you will get. Players receive a default additional online offline rewards of 5 to 15% based off their own level progress. So you progressing on the game on your own will give you another percentage the maximum duration for collecting online offline rewards is eight hours so if you are online playing for eight hours make sure you're collecting this if you're offline and letting the game grind while you're offline make sure you log in at least every eight hours so you can collect this reward next over here we have manage our retainers so we're going to go over here this is going to also going to show us who our employer is and then down below it's going to show your retainers you hold them for a maximum of seven days after seven days they get released and you have to either capture them again or capture new retainers up here in the top right is an information tab one recruit defeated players as retainers and become their employer which i don't really get why we're calling them an employer i'm not paying them they're not paying me i'm not getting paid by my employer the really miss misguided information here two if a target has an employer defeat the current one to become the new employer basically if you want someone as an employee or retainer you need to defeat the person who has them as a retainer three employ up to five retainers each reducing attack defense and pal damage by 10 percent during dormitory battles so this is kind of key for what i'm going to go into later keep track of that number three your damage reduction okay four retainers are released automatically after seven days we already talked about that or you can manually release them five retainers can release themselves by defeating employers or requesting help from others so you can request help from friends and family members and get yourself freed six after dismissing a retainer players must wait one day before attempting to capture the same retainer again this keeps you from just constantly harassing someone trying to get them as a retainer i i get that that makes sense i guess one day cooldown on capturing those retainers so this is where the decrease in damage comes in handy so say i don't have 
any retainers right now. There is no reduction at all. I could go to this person here. See they have a bunch of retainers and know that they have the 50% reduction. So the idea behind collecting retainers is what you want to do is you want to attack the highest powered player first because you have zero damage reduction behind you. Once you get start getting those retainers, you're going to get that damage reduction down and you're not going to be able to defeat players you normally would. So always attack the highest powered player First, work your way down the ladder that will help you immensely you won't lose battles that you normally would going against people with normal power so there you have it dormitory in a nutshell basically capture players make them work for you for free reap the benefits of that based off of their progress and enjoy the rewards thanks for tuning in and as always keep on growing